November 14th, 2020. Rachel Nevada. Area 51 researcher Jorg Arnew boards a small private plane with his friend and pilot, Gabe Zeifman. During their flight, the plane comes within 12 miles of the base, closer than any civilian aircraft has flown before. Obviously, I was a little nervous about it. We were looking for new developments at Area 51, for new buildings, new hangars that might be indicative of new projects. And sure enough, we did find a couple of uh, new developments, new uh, buildings at Area 51. After the flight, the men posted high-resolution photographs of Area 51 online. The images prompted close scrutiny and excited speculation among other Area 51 researchers. The photos revealed that there are more aircraft hangars at the base than previously thought. A new hangar is being built at Area 51 approximately every two years. Looking at satellite images, we can actually learn quite a bit. If we look at a hangar, we can look at its size, at its location in the base, even things like, is there one center taxi line going into the hangar, or are there several taxi lines? That all tells us something about that project. And of course, the location of the hangar is significant. The most secret projects are always on the outskirts of Area 51. So it seems that there have been some changes at Area 51. Uh, the mission is changing, evolving, and above all, it proves that things are still active. Although the very existence of Area 51 was kept in the shadows for as long as the federal government could manage it, in recent years, declassified documents have revealed the original purpose of the base, giving many researchers more certainty that secret development of aerospace technology continues there today. In 1955, the CIA, the Air Force, and pilots from Lockheed who were building the U-2 spy plane needed a place to test it. It was being built in Burbank, but you cannot test a secret government plane over a populated area because people will see it, and if it crashes, it might kill people. So they were looking for a remote testing area out in the desert, and they found this runway near Groom Lake. It was an old World War II aerial gunnery site. So the CIA had the Atomic Energy Commission add this site to its real estate holdings so the U-2 program could move out there for testing. And its map designation was Area 51. The U-2 spy plane was just the first of many advanced aircraft that were developed at Area 51 in complete secrecy. The SR-71 Blackbird and the stealth fighter, the F-117A, all of these were tested out of Area 51. Uh, it also was used to reverse engineer Soviet MiG jet fighters, which were at very advanced, and the US certainly wanted to learn about them. The United States has had a long history of testing its cutting edge aerospace projects at Area 51. And these are the sorts of things that when people first see them, when they're not public knowledge, they mistake them for UFOs. Even pilots will see some of these aircraft and say, my goodness, it's, it's a flying saucer. Is it possible that evidence of mysterious craft, such as the ATIP videos, simply show footage of secret American military vehicles that may have been designed at Area 51? Or could they actually be, as some believe, evidence that the American military has obtained extraterrestrial technology?